This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome back to another exciting episode of our Valheim 100 day challenge. Okay, so I've been a little busy doing some stuff off camera, nothing major. We built this, built that, transformed that into this, got a bunch of the black metal processing. We got a buttload of black metal and I don't think we're going to need most of it. Um, that was about it. Uh, this took a while processing all that black metal took forever. We are on day, I want to say 72, pretty sure. So what we are going to do today is we're going to go over here to home two. We're going to run over here because I want to see, I want to see what's going on over in this area here. Uh, we have not ventured that way. The only other spots we have are right here and right here. Uh, I think this leads into forest. So I want to check this spot here. And then what we're going to do is break down the boat, rebuild the boat and sail across here because you were telling me, yeah, everybody was saying, I never even paid attention up here. If you look up here, if I highlight over here, look at that. It says planes. You guys and gals are so freaking astute. I just completely am oblivious to stuff like that. And you know what I blame that on? I blame that on advertisements and pop-up ads and stuff like that. I'm so oblivious to just things that pop up on the screen and show up and text and stuff like that, unless I'm specifically looking for it, that it's absolutely ridiculous sometimes. And now we're just gonna run right over this way. So we're getting close to what we need as far as resources wise uh, for the boss. I just, I mean, we're getting really close to this, this final push. I just need these stupid totems. Once we can get these totems, uh, we'll, we're pretty much home free. That's what's, that's the main thing that is holding us up right now. Uh, I have a ton of barley and flax going so we can make stuff like the blood pudding, all of that. Um, we need the linen. We're going to have to make a good chunk of that. And, uh, yeah, we're, we're getting there. We're, we're almost there. I just need to find some totems. I mean, we have not been having any luck. Okay. So, oh, we got a camp right here. Okay. Well, let's get ready to do the thing. We're going to swap over to, yep. We're on the needle arrows. Perfect. Let's see if we can snipe some of these guys from across the bank. Actually, let's double check. Make sure. Okay. We got a, we got a goblin right there. I don't see any death mosquitoes. Kind of just looking around. Okay, yeah, I think we're good. So let's swap over to this. Let's see if we can snipe this little fella from right here. Oh yeah, take that. Take that. Okay, we're gonna kinda let's uh let's go into sneak mode. See if we can get up on this camp and like sneak in here. Oh, we're not gonna be able to sneak across here. Okay, back into, nope, 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 sneak mode, sneak mode. Okay, all right, sneak mode. Okay, we're super sneaky. Uh, I'm right at the this food. So I've been thinking, I think the next playthrough that we are going to do on this channel, or that I'm going to do, hopefully you all watch, uh, I think I'm going to install the Valheim Plus mod. There are a lot of little things that are really starting to get to me in this game, one of them being food and stamina. And that whole mechanic drives me nuts. Like, I love the idea of the food adjusting your stats. What drives me nuts is it constantly ticking down uh, after you eat it. So you never have, like, you're always like, okay, well, am I good on food? Do I have the stamina I need to go into this battle? So it's almost like you don't want to eat until you get ready to go into battle. But also, you need to have some food because otherwise the tree falls on you and you die if you don't have any food in you. But if you don't eat food that's good for you and you get ready to go into battle and it's still trying to tick down, you can't override it. I don't think it would be as bad if you could like puke or override it, just eat it or, you know, and, and refresh. But the fact that it stops you from eating, like if you could just eat and refresh, that would solve all the problems. But anyway, I'm rambling and not not doing this uh, here. So let's do this. Um, but you guys get the idea. And then the, the stamina use is a little, it's a little egregious at times. And I would like it just to be a little bit more balanced. And Valheim Plus like adds features like that along with just an absolute ridiculous amount of customization. And it seems to be relatively easy to install. So I think, I think that's what we're gonna do. I'm not sure what challenge we're gonna do yet. 
but uh, I'm pretty sure we're going to be playing with that mod. And I'll do a video on how to install it and stuff and where to get it, all that for those of you who want to uh, who want to do it and how to set it up, the config, all of that stuff uh, once I get into it. Oh yeah, we chunked you down hard. Yeah, bring it, bring it. By the time you're done growling, you're going to be dead. He won't, I don't think he'll come over here. Will he come over here? No, he will not come over here. Let's swap to these arrows. Oh yeah, get you some of that. Get you some of that. You don't get the move and you're done. Drop a totem, drop a totem, do it, do it. Nope, nothing. Nothing but just, uh, I, honestly, I don't even think I need any more black metal. The only thing I'm really gonna make is the, um, the new pole arm. I might make the shield. But it's a lot cheaper for the black metal stuff than than the iron stuff. So yeah, I don't even uh, I don't even know. Look at this guy. Oh, that's a spear chucker. Okay, nope, 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 nope. All right, well, we're losing daylight pretty quick, but I think I just about got this thing cleared out over here. I'm gonna kind of ease in here a little bit. I think that that one we just killed there. Oh no, we got, we got a shaman over there. Crap, okay, hold up, hold up. Uh, let's take these guys out first. Oh, that is a lot. Every time I think I got it cleared out. Nope, there's nine million fullings in there. Okay, so I found a trick though, cause they get really derped up over here, which makes them super easy to take down. And I just saw a death skeeto over there, so I gotta be careful. Stamina is a serious issue right now. Where that death skeeto go? Okay, he's over there killing everything else. All right, where did the rest of them go? Cause they didn't go down in there like they should have. We may have to go back to the house. I need to get the shaman. Did we get him? Okay, I think we got him. Oh yeah, bring it! Oh, not you, not you. Don't bring it, don't bring it. Oh crap, of course we're, we're low on health cause our health is ticked down. Okay, we got him. Ah, crap. Stamina. Stamina. Health and stamina. I mean, they don't hit quite as hard. I mean, they, yeah, they still hit for like 50, but still. All right, here we go. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, last one. Come on. 
There we go. There we go. Okay, let's see if we can get in here now and that all of them. I just want to check to see, you know what? We're just gonna, we're just going for it. We're just going for, I'm tired of killing. Oh, is that a, t what is that? Is that a totem? That's a totem. That's also a death Skeeto and 9 billion fullings. Now nah, you missed death Skeeto. Okay, we got to wait for that guy to come back. We're going to, we're making the run for it over here. Yeah. Okay. All right. We're getting it. We're getting it. I need that totem. We got to get back over there. Yeah. Fullings. Yeah. Everybody chase me over here like a bunch of morons and then get stuck down in the water while I run back and steal your freaking totem. Okay. Stamina. Stamina. Let it regen. Is that two? Is there two? Wait, what is that? Is that another one? Hold up, hold up, hold up. A swing and a miss. No. No. Yes, there's two. Holy crap. And a mage. All right, all right. Give it to me. Give it to me. Oh, wow. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, why can't I pick it up? Hold on. Oh, we picked up another one from somewhere else. Oh, oh, hey, no. Okay, well, we got a good fight going now. Um, pick this up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Okay, holy crap. Holy crap. Oh, I'm carrying too much. No, drop it. Drop it. Drop it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <clears throat> okay, well, at least we got the freaking totems. So that's all that matters. I was clicking and control clicking, and then I freaking picked it up, and then, ah, uh, all that freaking black metal. I knew I should have just been dropping, and I don't even want to try to get it back to the house. All right, so we just got to make sure our stamina is full. We're going to make the run in there. I'm going to grab my stuff. The downside is, is we're going to immediately be overweight. So I got to get that inventory open, drop that black metal, and keep on moving. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Corpse run. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, there's a bunch of them right there. Hold on. Maybe if I come up here, they'll just F off. I think I have to hit them though for that to happen. Uh, and we also do not want any death mosquitoes coming up on us because there's not a lot I can do about it right now. Yeah, 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 come over here. Come over here. And there's that freaking shaman over there too. Why are they all just hanging out around my corpse gra or my gravestone? Like, get lost. Okay, here we go. We're making a run for it. I'm doing it. Okay, all right. Did we get it? Did we get it? I don't even know. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh no, I picked up the heaviest thing. I picked up all the stupid black metal. All right, maybe we can kite them all over here and they can get stuck. All right, we're just gonna hang out here. Goodbye, black metal. I don't even want you, get out of here. Oh, there's a spear guy. Crap, if he hits me, I'm dead. I mean, it's not the end of the world because we got no skill drain right now, but I still would like to get my freaking corpse. All right, now maybe I can make the run and grab it and not be and not be overweight. We can make the run. Hit it. And up on top of the thing. And armor. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. Did he shielded the locks? <laughs> okay, so that's three, four. We need one more totem. Because we have the one back at the base. We need five, right? I think it's five. Whoa, no you don't. If we time this right, I can get rid of this guy. When his shield drops. I mean, oh, I should probably eat food too. Uh, you know what? I'm not even dealing with you. I'm going to let my stamina regen. And then uh, we're going to kind of just uh, breeze through here real quick. Oh, oh, or oh, take a spear to the face. That's a thing. Nope. Nope, you missed. Okay, I want to check out in there because uh, that's probably a fulling thing too. And that has a chance. No death, Skeeto. Oh, of course. Of course you are. Of course. Okay, well, we're fine. I have no stamina. None. None. Oh, my God. Okay, you know what? Whatever. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Come here. Come here.
Okay, we're not dying here. I'm not, I'm not. Oh my god, I've got two HP! Run! <laughs> I've got two HP and no stamina! <laughs> I don't have time to stop for the Ichthyr buff. We just gotta keep moving. We just gotta keep moving to the house. Oh my god, he's chucking spears behind me. I can hear him. Put this away. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. I'm not stopping until I get to the house. Holy crap, that was absolutely freaking insane. Uh, let's regen all of the things. Okay, so we are at four totem. We need one more. One more freaking totem. All right, let's toss that in there and let's sort through all this crap. All right, we are back over here. And, uh, wow, look at all those necks. Okay, we're gonna come over here. And I wanna check out... Oh, I hear them, but I don't see them. That's the scary part. Get over here where I can actually see them. Make sure that there is no death skeetos. Okay, I don't see, I mean, there's signs of death skeetos. Obviously they were here killing stuff. I'll pick up all that deer stuff. Okay, uh, let's swap to this. Oh yeah, here we go, here we go. We're gonna miss, uh, we're gonna use these. Yeah, you missed again, fool. How do you like that? There we go. Okay, one down. Now, there can be totems. <gasps> is that purple glow I see? Is that our last totem? It is! Holy crap, we did it. All right, we're getting back to the house. That's it, we're done over here. We did it, we have all five totems. We can summon him. We're gonna do it. We're gonna beat the freaking challenge. Holy crap, I'm so excited. I did not think we were gonna find them over here. I was having like zero luck. We went through all of that and then we come over here today and we find all of them in that one spot. That's freaking crazy. Well, I don't think we found them all. I think one of them dropped because we only found two over there and I had had two in my inventory unless one of those was like a dual spawn or something it spawned like over top of each other you know what i mean um and there was two in one spot i don't know but somehow i had two on me and i didn't and when we looked at one time i didn't have it so at some point i'll have to look in post i picked up one Oh my god, I'm so excited. I did not think, I thought it was going to be super close. I mean, it still might be. We still need a little bit of uh, gardening to do, but I mean, that's what, uh, eight days at the most? And we're on day 73 now? Okay, there it is. There's our five totems. Okay, so now what we need to do is just get all of our prep in order. I need to go get some more leeches because we need, oh, how are we looking on blood bags? What's our blood bag count? Um, where are they at? Where did I even put them? Are they in mob drops? 13. Um, I only need the food, that good food for that fight. So that's not terrible. We also need the stuff for this. Oh, that's going to take what? Four days as well. Um, so let's go over, let's check the planes. Let's see what that's looking like over there. Yeah, we're not quite there yet. I think we're going to need another day on this massive harvest here, but this harvest should, oh, what the? Okay, that was weird. Y'all saw that, right? I did nothing. There was no shenanigans going on there. Um, it all just popped into existence. Okay, well, uh, that's great. So let's harvest it up. One of the first things we're gonna do right now, we got the padded helm. Looks like that's gonna take 15 and 10 iron. We do have a little bit of iron left that I saved. So we're gonna have to let this, let's, uh, Let's just fill that back up. So I'm gonna let that process, I'm gonna go back over here. I'm actually gonna keep a bunch of this and then I'm gonna take a hundred of each of them back over there and replant them just in case we need a second haul. So let's drop a hundred of the barley in there and a hundred, well, no, I wanna keep a hundred barley, keep a hundred flax and drop the rest in here. So that's what we have to play with. And then I'm just gonna grab this and uh, we're gonna go back over there and farm a bunch of that up. I also need to do a bunch of farming over here as well. The bread still, oh wait, 
four processed. Yeah, give me those so we can get that. There we go. Now we got the blood pudding and the bread recipe. And I think with that, we're going to wrap it up there because right now what I'm going to have to do is just a bunch of boring nonsense. So I need to do a bunch of gardening. We need to wait for this stuff to process. And that's all just boring, boring nonsense. So when we come back though, I will be prepped and ready to take on Yagi Boy. That will be the, probably be the final episode to this season. The next season though, I definitely, I'm pretty like 99.9% .9 sure. I'm gonna install the Valheim Plus mod. I have a few ideas for some challenges that we can do, but yeah, I'm just gonna tweak it and uh, tweak a few things that are honestly just driving me nuts with this game. But before we wrap up this episode, I just want to give an absolutely massive shout out to my supporters on Patreon for making this episode possible. Y'all are absolutely amazing people. If you would like to join my Lee Crew Patreon supporters, please check out the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy, you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and show your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.